Hi, Stories Channel here. Today we're going to take a look at a 2019 Japanese thriller film, called Under Your Bed. As the movie begins, we see a man called Naoto watching a woman's feet from under a bed. He simply lays there, watching, as she walks around, doing her chores. Naoto explains that he's been watching her like this for such a long time now that his cheek feels numb. A moment later, a man comes in with the woman and roughly throws her on the bed. Pieces of clothing come flying to the ground and the bed starts shaking violently. The woman grunts and groans, clearly being forced into the deed. Naoto lays there, with his hand pressed against the bed, wishing he could do something to stop the torture. We're taken back in time when Naoto was in school. Naoto explains that he was cast aside and ignored by the people around him. He had no friends and nobody cared about him. Even on picture day, nobody noticed that he wasn't among his classmates. Neither his fellow students nor his teachers. One day, when Naoto is sitting in a class in university, Naoto's teacher asks him a question. Naoto stands and starts wondering what the answer could be. Just then, a girl called Chihiro calls his name and gives him her notebook. Naoto reads her notes and answers the question. After class, Naoto goes to Chihiro and thanks her. Chihiro smiles brightly and tells him it's no problem. Naoto gathers up his courage and asks Chihiro if she wants to have tea together. Chihiro agrees and they both walk to the cafe. Naoto's thoughts reveal that this was the first time ever that someone called him by his name. While having tea with him, Chihiro tells Naoto all about the circles and clubs she's in and everything she likes to do. Naoto listens to her but soon gets worried that if he doesn't talk, she'll get bored and leave. However, even after trying, he's not able to say anything. After telling him everything about herself, Chihiro asks Naoto about his hobbies. Naoto tells her that he likes to breed rainbow fish. When Chihiro shows interest, Naoto gets carried away and goes on and on about his fish. Chihiro tells him that she also wants a fish now. Because of this, Naoto promises to give her some of his rainbow fish. Coming back to the present, Naoto explains that he wishes to see Chihiro again. He's become so crazy for her that he only drinks her favorite coffee mandarin. On top of that, he's been looking for her everywhere. One day, he emails his college and asks for Chihiro's whereabouts. He's told that Chihiro lives in a suburban town with her husband, Hamazaki. Naoto goes to her address to see her just one more time and awaits her outside her house. Chihiro walks out of her house a moment later, seeming weak and all drained of life. She walks past Naoto, but she doesn't recognize him. Naoto initially intended to go back after seeing her, but her condition worries him and he decides to stay and find out what happened to her. Naoto rents an apartment right in front of Chihiro's. He opens a fish shop there and starts living in it. He prints out segments of Chihiro's face and joins them to make a huge picture of Chihiro on his wall. He also puts a mannequin in his room and dresses it up just like Chihiro. He even makes it smell like her and touches it, thinking it's Chihiro he's touching. We're taken back to the day Naoto was supposed to go to Chihiro's house to give her the fish. Chihiro happily receives him at the door and welcomes him in. She excitedly observes the fish Naoto brought for her. Naoto looks at her and admires her. Chihiro asks him if he can come again to help her care for her fish. Naoto beams up and happily agrees. Presently, Naoto sits at his window looking into Chihiro's house. This has become Naoto's new hobby, looking at Chihiro from his window. He watches her throughout the day as she cares for her newborn, cleans her house and later sits to eat with her husband. While Chihiro and her husband Hamazaki are eating, Hamazaki suddenly throws water at her face. He gets up and throws her to the ground and starts violently kicking her. Naoto watches, shocked, unable to understand what to do. The next day, Naoto stands near Chihiro's house to see how she's doing after last night. When she comes out to see off her husband, Naoto notices her bruised face. However, Naoto acted like nothing out of the ordinary happened. Naoto thus pieces together that this happens often with Chihiro. As an attempt to cheer her up, Naoto buys a bouquet and leaves it at Chihiro's door, with a note saying, I wish you happiness. However, when Chihiro sees this, she simply puts it in the trash. One day, Chihiro comes to Naoto's shop to look at the fish. Naoto is extremely happy to have her around. Chihiro takes a look at his fish and tells him that they're beautiful. Naoto tells her that since he just opened his shop, he's willing to give her one for free. However, Chihiro turns him down, saying she doesn't have an aquarium and she can't afford one at the moment. Naoto tells her that he has a tank that won't sell because it's scratched. However, this was just an excuse of his so that he could make Chihiro happy. He gives Chihiro the tank and accompanies her back to her house to deliver the tank. Naoto places the tank on Chihiro's table and the two look at the fish. Naoto looks at Chihiro as she looks at the fish, just like in old times. After a while, Chihiro goes inside to get something for Naoto. 
Naoto notices her keys placed on the table and quickly puts them in his pocket. Chihiro returns with some fruit for him. She hands him the fruits as a token of appreciation and lets him leave. When Naoto returns to his house, he makes a copy of the key to Chihiro's house. After this, he fixes a mic and a lighter. Later that day, Hamazaki returns from work and tortures Chihiro. As he's doing this, Naoto's lighter is seen on Chihiro's side table. Back at his house, Naoto is able to clearly listen to every sound made in Chihiro's room because of the mic in the lighter. Naoto records Chihiro's voice and starts listening to her on a daily basis. Naoto starts regularly visiting Chihiro's house in her absence. He cleans her fish tank and changes the batteries of the mic he'd hidden in her room. One day, Chihiro returns just as he's about to leave her house. Naoto quickly hides behind her kitchen counter. Chihiro gets suspicious for a moment but then she ignores the feeling. Naoto takes his chance and runs out. The next day, Chihiro comes back to Naoto's shop to buy fish food. She happily tells him that her fish are still healthy, though she never kept any before. She tells him that she'd heard that rainbow fish die easily. The fact that hers are still alive and healthy makes her really happy. Naoto asks Chihiro if she wants to have coffee with him. He tells her that he just brewed mandarin, which was her favorite coffee. Chihiro gets delighted and agrees to have coffee with him. After Chihiro leaves, Naoto grabs her cup and kisses it where she placed her lips. The next day, he goes to her house and hides under her bed. He hears Chihiro's screams as her husband forces himself on her. Later that day, Chihiro's husband finds the note Naoto left her with the bouquet. He starts suspecting an affair and beats her up brutally. Naoto watches, helplessly as Chihiro is tortured before his eyes. The husband drags Chihiro to the bathroom after this and starts torturing her by holding her head under the water, repeatedly asking her the name of the person she's seeing behind his back. Once Chihiro's husband falls asleep, Naoto gets out from under the bed. He rushes to the bathroom where Chihiro was passed out. He takes her out to the living room and dries her. He rubs her cold body to warm her up and leaves after covering her up with a blanket. When Chihiro awakens, she understands from the blankets that someone has helped her. It's revealed that though she always threw away the flowers sent by Naoto, she always looked forward to them. Many a time she suspected a presence in her house, but this was never confirmed. This event, however, confirmed her suspicions. She goes to her room, thinking that her helper might still be listening. She addresses this mysterious person and begs for help. Back at his house, Naoto is listening to her plea. We're taken back in time where Naoto started paying Chihiro frequent visits to help her take care of her fish. One day, when Naoto went to see Chihiro, Chihiro tried to send him away from the door. Naoto was about to leave but Chihiro's controlling boyfriend roughly pulled her away. The boyfriend then grabbed Naoto and started beating him up. When Chihiro tried to stop him, he started beating her as well. Naoto grabbed an electrical device from his fish tank and tased Chihiro's boyfriend until he got off of her. Naoto kicked Chihiro's boyfriend as he lay on the ground, weakened by the electrical shock. Once the boyfriend left, Naoto hugged Chihiro and comforted her. One thing led to another and the two ended up making love. Remembering that day, Naoto buys a taser and decides to save Chihiro the next time she's in trouble. Chihiro gets a call from her mother and is told by her over the phone that her father is very ill and wants to see her one last time. At the dinner table, Chihiro asks her husband's permission to go see her father. However, her husband immediately denies her the permission. Desperate to see her father, Chihiro begs, but the stone-cold man doesn't budge. Infuriated, Chihiro slaps her husband across the face. Hamazaki drives a fork through Chihiro's hand and throws her to the ground. Then he violently starts beating and bashing her around. Naoto watches them from behind a curtain. He extends his taser to Hamazaki but isn't able to gather up the courage to tase him. Hamazaki drags Chihiro away to further torture her. Naoto cries in the corner as the love of his life is being bashed around and abused. When Naoto returns to his house, he cries in guilt and touches himself to punish himself for this cowardice. The next morning, Chihiro puts her baby in the car and runs away from the house. Realization dawns on Naoto that he might lose Chihiro and never see her again. He again recalls the day he went to Chihiro's house to take care of her fish. It's revealed that what he thought earlier was just a delusion. Naoto never made love to Chihiro. Chihiro just left him a message saying she can't see him again. And the two never met after that. Hopeless after losing his one and only loved one once again, Naoto loses it. He tears away Chihiro's clothes from the mannequin and rips away her pictures from his wall. As Chihiro sips her coffee, now far away from all the worries and her troublesome husband, she notices something off with her lighter. She opens it to see the mic inside. She asks if anyone is listening to her, but she doesn't get a response. Just then, someone knocks at her door. 
To Chihiro's horror, it's her husband who's managed to find her. Hamazaki beats Chihiro up and brings her back to the house. As she's lying on the floor, helplessly, Chihiro starts shouting to her mysterious guardian for help. Hamazaki begins to think that she's gone crazy but suddenly, Naoto comes from behind and touches him. Chihiro is shocked to see him since she only remembered him as the guy who owned the fish shop next door. She asks Naoto who he is, but Naoto only tells her that everything will be okay, thinking that even if he did tell her his name, she won't remember it. He was just a guy who had coffee with her once, 11 years ago. Hamazaki starts moving in the meantime. Chihiro gets alarmed and starts strangling him while crying. Naoto hugs her and pulls her hands away. Instead, he strangles Hamazaki to death with his own hands. Naoto goes to the police station after this and hands himself over to the police for killing Hamazaki. As he's sitting at the police station, Chihiro arrives and calls him by his name. Naoto turns, realizing she now remembers who he is. It's revealed that Chihiro went to Naoto's house after he left to find out who he was. She found their college photos there and realized who he was. Naoto looks at Chihiro as she stands there, saying his name. Tears fill up in his eyes and the movie ends. Thank you so much for watching.